Wow, friends, I asked you about this answer. If I have six, how many more do I need to make 10? I need two. And your job was to tell me if you agree or disagree and then prove or explain how you got your answer. Well, first of all, everybody told me that this is wrong. Can you believe that? They, you did not think that six and two is 10. And the other thing is you were all able to prove it and you used lots of different ways to explain to me how you got your answer. So let me review some of the things you might have done. Remember, we started at the number six and we were trying to figure out how many more we needed to make 10. So some friends used a 10 frame and they said you would put six on the 10 frame and then we could count the empty boxes. So let's see how many empty boxes there are. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. Remember, on the last slide with my number line, I said it was two to get to 10. But if when you used your 10 frame, you knew that there was four to get to 10. Also, if you're using a 10 frame, you could also fill in those empty spaces and count how many you had to fill in. So I used yellow. Let's fill it in. Oops, sorry. Let's fill in our empty spaces. Okay, so we had six to start with. Those are the yellow. And then I filled in the empty spaces with the red ones. Those are the ones we needed. So we could count the red ones. One, two, three, four. So our counters and our 10 frame helps us to see that that original answer of two was incorrect. And we could disagree with that because we saw that with the 10 frame. But some people didn't use their 10 frame. They used their counters, whoops, sorry, and they counted on. So here we started with the number, sorry, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we counted on to see how many more we needed to get to 10 and we stopped at 10. So count on, keep the number six in your head with me and count well, I put the dots out. What number will come next? We already know we have six. So this is seven, eight, nine, 10. So now to figure out how many we needed, we count the red ones. We counted one, two, three, four. Six and four is 10. But that's not all. Some friends figured it out using their number line. So remember, I had a dot on six. And, I, and they said there was one, two jumps to get to 10. But you told me that was not correct because when I made those two big jumps, I skipped numbers. I have to make sure when I'm using a number line, I go to every line and count every number. So it would look like this. The jumps. Sorry, friends, that was our bell at school if you heard it. You have to count every jump to every line. One two, three, four. So there would be four to get to 10. So your job today was to pay close attention to someone else's answer and to think about if you agreed or disagreed with it. That's really important in math. We want to be able to think about what people are saying and decide if we agree or disagree based on what we know. It's okay to respectfully disagree with other people, especially when you're able to explain your way of thinking. So today we thought about people's answers on how to get from a number to 10.